Hey everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions, where we talk all things media. And today we are talking novelizations. So if you guys follow the channel or have been for a while, you might know that I collect movie novelizations and media tie-in books in general. I love them. And so today I have about 15 that I found recently to share with you guys. And some of these are awesome. I am so excited to share them with you guys. Before we do though, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. But with that said, let's not waste any more time at all. Let's dive right in to my novelization haul. I'll start off with the junior novelizations I found, which are just basically like the middle grade versions of these. So first off, we have Star Wars, the Mandalorian junior novel. Now, this is one uh, written by Joe Schreiber, I should also mention. So you can see I picked this one up from my local bookstore. They were having a buy one, get one free sale actually for the entire month. Now they're having it on all kids books, which is awesome. You can see the, the pictures in the middle there, which is really cool. So yeah, not much to say about this. This, of course, is just the junior novelization for the Mandalorian, which I still haven't watched. So I have to get around to that at some point. But yeah, was happy to find this one, especially for as little as I paid for it. So The Mandalorian is actually the only recent one I've picked up. Everything else is for movies that are much older, which makes me happy. So first up here, we have Casper Jr. novelization. And this one is written by Lisa Rojani, Ro Rojani, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, so this one is super short, but it still does have some photos in there, which I love. So this, of course, is a, a fantastic movie. I love this. It was a staple of my childhood, as it was for, I'm sure, a lot of you watching, but just a great movie. And so the fact that I was able to find the novelization for it, I had to pick it up. This is Casper, written by, oh boy, I'm forgetting, Lisa Rajani. Next up are two Jurassic Park novelizations. We have The Lost World, Jurassic Park 2, and then Jurassic Park 3. These are so cool because I do actually have the original novelization as well, which I have read the original book, the Michael Crichton book. And so I have that. I've watched the movie, of course. And then I have the three junior novelizations for the original trilogy of Jurassic Park movies. So these are awesome. Both of these do have some pictures in them as well. Fortunately, this one, Jurassic Park 3, is actually a little bit thicker as you can see. Well, I don't know if you can make that out or not, but these ones are a little bit bigger than the Casper one, which is good to me. So yeah, very happy I was able to find both of these. Jurassic Park uh, 3 and The Lost World, Jurassic Park 2. Okay, so who remembers the third movie of the Honey, I Shrunk the Kid series? Because I love this one. This is Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. And this novelization is written by B.B. Hiller. So this is the one where they blow up their baby and he becomes this like giant kaiju monster, essentially. It is awesome. I watched this one actually not that long ago now, and I think it holds up just fine. Like this is another staple of my childhood, a fantastic 90s. What, what was this? Like 90, early 90s, I'd have to say. Let me see if I can find it real quick. 92 is when the novelization came out. So I'm guessing somewhere around there. But yeah, I love this entire film franchise. There's actually one more after that, which is Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. And uh, I think that one's a lot of fun too. I think we watched the entire series a couple years ago. But yeah, just an awesome find. I had to grab this the second I saw it. Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, written by B.B. Hiller. Another one by B.B. Hiller. This one from 1993 and another childhood classic for me. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. I love this one. I know this is kind of like the redheaded stepchild of the series, but I always had a great time with this. And I think it's because this was the first one I remember actually seeing in theaters when I was a kid. And so I was quite young when I was seeing this one in theaters, but I had such a great time with it. We had it on VHS after that. and I used to watch it over and over again. Now, mind you, it has been probably decades now since I've seen this, but I loved it every time I saw it in the past. So I'm very excited to revisit this. I'll have to read the junior novel to go along with it now. Very happy to have this one. This one does have pictures, but they're not color. So that's a little bit disappointing, but still really cool find. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, written by B.B. Hiller. So there are three books in this haul that are a bit more expensive than I would ever spend on a book, but I couldn't pass these up. These are awesome. And so the first one here is the only junior novel that would fit into that category. This is so cool. Super Mario Brothers, the movie. And this one is written by Todd Strasser, kind of a staple of this style of book. 
And like this thing, so actually I have it in here still. I got this one for not cheap, $25.95 from Second and Charles. But it, it looks like it is in like brand new shape. It almost looks like it's like reprinted. That's how the that's like the quality on this. And so again, I would not usually spend this much on a book, but I couldn't pass it up. Like this is awesome. How often do you see something like this in the wild? Me? Never. I've never seen this before. And so I had to grab it. This is from 1993. And I like this movie. I, I don't care who knows it. Like I always enjoyed this when I watched it. I, I do understand why people don't like it, but I think it gets like a, a worse rep than it actually deserves. And so now I have the novelization for it and I am thrilled. This one, and there's like two or three more in here that I'm just so excited about, but I wanted to keep this one with the junior novels just because it fits with them. So yeah, really cool find. Cannot wait to read this. I uh, just like, I barely even want to touch it because it was like, I don't spend this much on books. And so the fact that I was able to find this, I want to keep it in really nice shape. So very happy to find the Super Mario Brothers movie written by Todd Strasser. All right, let's jump over to the adult books now. And first up is technically not a novelization, but still media tie-in and really cool. This is the first book of the Indiana Jones prequel series, Indiana Jones in the Peril at Delphi. So this one is actually from 1991, written by Rob McGregor. And it is exactly what I said. It is a prequel to the Indiana Jones films. So like, this is awesome. I do have... I want to say like book number four in this series also, but I had to grab this one, of course, because I didn't own it already. So I am excited to read these. Uh, I don't have a long history with the Indiana Jones movies. I think I've seen a couple of them, not even all of them. So I do need to like watch through the entire series again. But yeah, very happy to have this one in the collection. It is in excellent shape. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but when I went to Second and Charles, it was very clear that someone had just traded in their novelization and media tie-in collection, and I was able to score some really cool things because of it, and they were in excellent shape. That's where Super Mario Brothers came from. That's where this comes from, and a few more that I'm going to talk about have to be from the same guy's collection or, or woman's collection, whatever. Uh, like I, I'm so happy I went there that day because I got some great things. So The first one is Indiana Jones and the Peril at Delphi, book one of the Indiana Indiana Jones prequel series written by Rob McGregor. Next up is just kind of a random one for my novelization collection. This is Species 2 written by Yvonne Navarro. So I've not watched any of the Species films, so I don't have a whole lot to say here. I'm hoping I can find the original novelization for the original film. But in the meantime, I picked this one up. They actually had two copies of this for some reason at my uh, local used bookstore. So I figured, well, let's grab it, take it home, add it to the collection. Eventually, I'll find the first one, hopefully, if it exists, and then I can read them. So Species 2, written by Yvonne Navarro. This next one is really cool also. This is Jaws 2, and this one is written by Hank Searles. So this is based on the screenplay. So this is a sequel to the movie as opposed to a sequel to the Peter Benchley book. At least that's how I'm understanding it. If I'm wrong and you know, let me know down below, but that's what I'm getting out of this. So yeah, this is really cool. I mean, who doesn't love the Jaws franchise, right? Like I really like Jaws 2 as well as the original Jaws, and so... Had to pick this one up. I do have the original Jaws book. I have read that. I enjoyed it. I like the movie a lot more, but I think the book's great anyway. But this one, like I said, is a uh, sequel based on the movie as the original source. So really looking forward to checking this one out. Jaws 2, written by Hank Searles. This next one is written by one of the kings of the novelization, Alan Dean Foster, The Black Hole. So this is a movie that I watched not that long ago now. I know I watched it on Disney Plus and it has a really cool idea, but it just didn't work for me for whatever reason. It felt very Star Wars like, obviously something that came out of the Star Wars craze, but I didn't love the movie. And so I'm hoping I will read the novelization and then give the movie another shot and maybe I'll like it more because that's what typically happens with these. If I don't like the movie, I'll read the book. And then I'll like the movie a little bit more because I'll appreciate it more. But yeah, so this one is cool. Like just an awesome find. The Black Hole. Like that's great. A Disney movie written by Alan Dean Foster. I'm in. The Black Hole by Alan Dean Foster. 
And now a movie that I just watched, like, I don't know, as a filming, maybe a week ago. This is Kong Skull Island, and this is written by Tim Laban, a very well-known author. So this was a really enjoyable film. Not amazing, but I liked it for what it was. And this novelization is chunky. It is huge. And so I'm very intrigued to see what else is in this that may have been cut from the movie. But yeah, this is, you know, what is this book two, I guess, of the monster verse or film two of the monster verse. I still need to get Godzilla 2014 novelization. That has been one on my list to find for so long. And I just, I haven't been lucky. I haven't gotten that one yet. So I need to grab that. But now we have monster verse number two, Kong Skull Island written by Tim Laban. All right, so we're down to the last three now, and these are awesome. Like, these are ones that some people might consider grails. So first up, this is so cool, Mortal Kombat, the novelization to the original Mortal Kombat film written by Martin Del Rio. Now, this was one that was a little bit more. I think this was $12.95, and when I picked it up, I was like, what? Why is it so expensive? And then I got to thinking, well, it's because it's hard to find. That's why it's a little bit pricier. Uh, and then I found these other ones that were, like I said, around $30. So this one didn't seem so bad then, and I picked it up. But this is another one that does have some pictures on the middle. Not full color, but eh, it is what it is. But yeah, I like, I like of course, I've played the Mortal Kombat games, but I know nothing of the lore of Mortal Kombat. And so this will be really fun. I don't, if I'm not mistaken, I think this kind of changes things up a bit from the video games, but I mean, who cares? This is just a really cool find to add to the novelization collection. Mortal Kombat written by Martin Del Rio. I don't have a ton of books on my like novelizations to find list, but this next one absolutely was at the top. I have been trying to find this for literally years now and just have not come across it in the wild. I could have bought it online a couple times, but usually it's pretty expensive. When it's not, I just, I don't get lucky and find it. So when I picked this one up at my local Second and Charles, I was so excited. Resident Evil Genesis. And this one is written by Keith R.A.D. Candido. So this, of course, is the novelization for the original Resident Evil movie. But what's interesting about this and why you see the Genesis name on it is because, like on the top here, it says, the terrifying prequel to Resident Evil Apocalypse. The reason for that, this is just the novelization of the first movie, but the reason they add that stuff on there is because this came out in 2004, whereas the movie actually came out in 2002, but Apocalypse came out in 2004. So it was part of like the marketing push for Apocalypse was this book. And they do have a book for Apocalypse as well, which I do have in my collection also. But yeah, like I said, genuinely been looking for this for years. Never have I seen it out in the wild. When I did, oh, I did not let go of this. I was so excited. And it was cheap. This was only like $250, which blew my mind. Because like I said, when I've seen it online, at least I haven't looked in a while, but in the past, it was going for quite a bit more. So in just mint condition, another one from that same person's collection, it has to be. Oh, I'm so excited. I love this. This is why I love hunting for media in the wild, because you never know what you're going to come across. Resident Evil Genesis, written by Keith R.A. DeCandido. Okay, we are down to the last one, and this is where I was walking out. I was done. I had enough things in my hand at Second and Charles. I was ready to go. And then I walked by the, like, rare books case that they have at the front, and I was blown away by what I saw. Not just Super Mario Brothers that I already showed, but a handful of other things. I took some pictures. Hopefully, I can show them to you. Uh, but I could not leave the store without this guy here. Freddy versus Jason, written by Stephen Hand. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to see this. I One, I love this movie. Two, this thing is in great shape. The only like flaw, there's a little bit of something going on up there that like a little smudge, not a big deal at all. Otherwise, this thing is in excellent shape and like I couldn't pass it up. Yeah, not, not cheap. It was 30 bucks, 29. I don't know if you can read it. It's 29.95, so $30. So again, more than I've ever paid for probably any book in my life ever, that and Super Mario Brothers. But I mean, this is my weakness. Like I love novelizations. And then you bring in a horror movie that I love. Like how do I pass that up? I couldn't. So I am so thrilled I was able to find this. They actually had Halloween 4 novelization as well, but they wanted $175 for that, which is absurd. You can actually find that one for closer to about 130 to 140 on eBay. 
I'm cheap. I ain't spending 130 bucks on any book. I don't care what it is. So that didn't happen. But uh, like, I'm so happy to have this again, just a, like a, a movie I love. I'm super nostalgic for it. it came out just in that perfect era for me when I was obsessed with horror movies, seeing everything in the theater that I could. You know, it was right in my high school days, right? So, like, this was my time to shine, and I love this. So, oh, boy, this is without a doubt one of the coolest finds I've had in a very long time. Freddy vs. Jason novelization written by Stephen Hand. And that is going to wrap up all of the novelizations and media tie-in books that I've found recently. All right, so those are the 15 novelizations that I've picked up, and... Oh, what an awesome stack of books there. Freddy vs. Jason, Resident Evil Genesis, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Like, I just, I got so lucky. I'm so happy that I decided to go out to my mom's that day and hit up that second in Charles because that was just awesome. And so let me know down in the comments below. Have you guys read any of these? Have you seen any of the movies? What do you love? What do you hate? Let me know what your thoughts are on these and anything else down in the comments below. I always appreciate any and all support down there. So thanks so much for that. But as always, if you guys enjoyed this one, please hit that like button down below. That engagement really does help me out. And like I always say, I don't just talk books. I talk all things media, books, movies, video games, graphic novels, manga, records. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are too, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>